So I thought I would work on a few envelopes. So these are some envelopes that I coffee stained yesterday, but I want a little bit more color to them. This is just a notebook um, page that will go into one of them. So what I've done is I've taken the envelope and I'm just spraying just a little bit of the Distress uh, Stain Spray, the Vintage or Antique Linen on a couple of them. Because I do you see how that's just kind of plain? So I'm just doing a couple of little spritzes and then I'm going to set them aside to dry. And then I'm going to switch over to the um, vintage photo and do a few in that color. These are not the oxides. And it, my understanding, ooh, that's dark. My understanding, see, I want more of a splatter like that. My understanding is that um, they don't react to water. I wish I could get a little bit more of a, just a little drop like I had before. If any of you know how to do that, let me know. We're just going to set these aside to dry. I think I'm going back to the antique linen. I think I like that a little bit better. When it dries, it does um, tone down quite a bit. I'm sure that um, other the vintage photo will also. We're just gonna go and go through them all. There we go. Now we'll leave those to dry. So now I want to apply just a little bit of gesso to these envelopes and I'm just going to put it right here on my glass mat and I might water it down just a tiny bit it's pretty thick and then I'm just going to use a silicone brush to apply it Just gonna kind of here and there. On the back. And then the other thing I like to do is to take this parchment color and add a little bit of it too. If I can get a little bit more out. There we go, that's perfect. I already have another um, bottle of that, I love it. That's good enough. If everyone doesn't, every envelope doesn't have it on there, that'll be okay. Okay, so we'll set these aside to dry now. Okay, so now that my envelopes have dried, I want to add a little color to them. So I'm taking this 
Mossy Meadow ink pad. It's a stamping up color. And I'm gonna spray just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna take my papers and just kind of dab them in there just to pick up a little bit of that ink. Maybe a little bit more water so it spreads out. Yeah, I like that, the way that does that. Nice. A little bit on the back. And now this little tiny one. And now I want to bring in a little purple. I love purple. And so I'm going to bring in the Highland Heather and do the same thing. I have reinkers and I could do that. Not quite sure why I didn't. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, this is a pretty color. You know, I think I want a little bit of a darker purple, so I'm going to bring in some of the Gorgeous Grape Reinker and put that down. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Ah, oh, wasn't that pretty? Yeah, that's a nicer, nicer, darker color. Um, let's see if I can spread it out a little bit. So here I thought I would do just a little voiceover and let you know what's going on in my life. I am so excited. I bought another house. And the reason I bought another house is right now my daughter and her husband and grandkids live about 60 miles from me. It's in the Phoenix metropolitan area, but it does take me over an hour to go visit them. And my daughter kept saying, you know, mom, you need to live closer to us because as you even get older, if you need help, I need to be able to be close enough to come help you. And I agreed with her. So I had been on the house hunt for some time. Well, I finally found a home. It's going to close uh, at the end of this month. And the neatest thing is I'm going to have a proper craft room. You know how it is. You buy a couple of stamps and a little bit of paper and pretty soon it takes over in it, an entire room. And the room is kind of hodgepodge. So when I move, I'm going to have it completely organized. I will do a craft room tour, but I'm very excited about it. So yippee. So then now what I have done is run some of them through an embossing folder. This is a Stampin' Up! one, I believe it is retired, and I prefer the ones for the envelopes uh, to not be the 3D ones, because, um, let me just show you here, if you can look up close, see, it, otherwise it, the 3D ones may tear into your envelope, and I only did the top part of the envelope. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? And I will be inking to do a, uh, make this accent a little bit more. Some of them I had backwards. This is supposed to be the raised side on this side. But it's still, it's okay. And then um, 
I did some of the fronts of the notebook papers. So, so I'm going to show you how beautiful this looks when you just run a little bit of ink over the top. Isn't that gorgeous how that makes that stand out? And so what I've done is also inked around the edges. So I'm going to continue doing this. This is the front of this one. So again, look at how gorgeous that makes that stand out. Beautiful, huh? So now let's do a little bit of stamping on the envelopes. I'm going to use uh, archival ink. This is called potting soil. And uh, let's start with a little script. This little stamp is from Fenabar, and it's like a gothic. Uh, script and then I also have this one with this little bird and a ledger and then this floral image but I'm going to use the, the the gothic ledger here and just kind of stamp in a couple of spots I do like that that's very nice let's go on the bigger one here Got to do the back. Uh, let's do a little bit of that on this page here. And then I've got some small little butterfly images and I'm going to use this little honeycomb in a couple of spots. And then of course my all-time favorite stamp set, Very Versailles. Now the new catalog is coming out and this is retiring. I'm telling you guys, if you're journal makers, card makers, this is my all time favorite stamp for vintage looks. So let's just use a little bit of this script. Isn't that just gorgeous? So as you can see now, I'm starting to go through my stamps because I would like to add a stamp up to the right-hand corner of some of these envelopes. I think that one's a little bit too yellow, but I just wanted to show you, I keep my stamps in little baggies and I pretty much color coordinate them. So if I'm looking for a specific colored stamp, I can pull it out and I keep it in this little folder. There's some orange ones here and blue ones and these are all kind of Asian and inspired here. So I'm going to go through, pull off some stamps and then put them on the top right hand corner and I'll be back with you guys. Chit chat time again. Just wanted to let you know that last night I went to my grandson Gavin's uh, football game and they won the game. That was fun. It was absolutely gorgeous outside. Uh, I 
think it was like 79 degrees at eight o'clock at night. It was absolutely beautiful and it, it was fun to hang out with them. It will be so nice when I'm, I live closer to them and I don't have to drive, drive so far for soccer games or football games or piano recitals any of those kinds of things. So you can see I'm getting these stamps put down. So then after I'm done putting all the stamps down, I do have a stamp that I had ordered that gives you the little squiggly lines that says that a stamp has been used. And so I'm just applying that over the top of the stamps. So lastly, what I want to do is decoupage some images on these napkins. And I have just some Elmer's glue, water, and a little bit of coffee that is going to make it um, kind of a more brownish or vintage look. If I can get this open. Now, uh, these are napkins, like I said, and I thought this image of this bird. It's a hummingbird and um, a butterfly would be absolutely beautiful on it on this corner here. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. And then set it over to the side to dry uh, this pink one here let's see this also is very nice yeah okay i think this one will go here i realize now i didn't do any script stamping there but i can always come back and do that later and the other thing i realized this was going to be for the Butterfly, but not butterfly, sister. I meant uh, bee. I think I have another little bee one here. Yeah, that's a honeycomb. So, yeah, this is a, just a cute little bee there. And it's perfect. Little place for him. And then, let's see. I don't know if that's a little bit too much. I'm going to set him over to the side and, and decide on that. Um, this is beautiful. Talking about bees, and then I could put the bee over here. And wrap it around. This, this one here with this beautiful butterfly would go nicely. Yeah, just down in this corner. Okay, and then I need something pretty good size for there. So on some of these, I added a little bit of an embellishment. Uh, let's see. I added a little stamping there. And I added a little B here. But if you look at this, it looks very muddy. The impression of the B just does not look good. So I've tried a bunch of things, flowers, I cut out another bee. It, nothing looked good, but I did find, uh, this is from your creative studio box, a butterfly. And if I glue that on there, I think then that looks 
much better than that muddled <laughs> little area. So I'm just going to put this on. And then I'm going to show you all the envelopes. And I think they came out quite nice. I'm very pleased with them. So I'm just going to lay that there. Oh, and the other thing I had done is I sewed around uh, the index card. So you see, I did a little stitching there. Now, because this is embossed, it's going to be a little bit difficult for this to glue down. So that's why I'm going to take these paper clips to hold it down while that glue attaches. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one off to the side and I'm gonna show you the other ones. So here's one of the butterflies. Very nice little envelopes to put journaling cards in. This one. The beautiful hummingbird. Here's another little butterfly, and I put a little adhesive butterfly there, and then a little purple butterfly there. This is one of the bee ones. Again, another hummingbird one. This one. This one is a little plain. I might, you know how sometimes all of a sudden you'll add something and you'll look at it with fresh eyes and it'll come to you. But for now, that's that one. And then this little one here. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to uh, embellish plain old envelopes to where they look uh, more appealing to go into your journals. And I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks. Bye-bye.